Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I wanted to share with you how to build a stunning portfolio website in no time with Wix Studio. Before I start, a quick reminder, uh, I share everything about UX from portfolio reviews, design creds, and career tips on my YouTube channel. If you're interested on this type of content, please feel free to hit the subscribe so you won't miss any of my future content. I have been exploring different tools on how to create and maintain my UX portfolio website easily. And reflecting back how I used to build my portfolio, it is really time consuming. And every time when I think about my portfolio website is due for update, uh, I just feel so much pressure that I don't even want to touch it because it can take such a long time to add a new project and write all the case study and design the web layout for it, which I have been dreaming that if there is one tool that can allow me to build project case studies in a more scalable way. And here is the good news. I have recently found the tool that can really help me build my portfolio website in no time with a very scalable approach where I can easily update any project while maintaining the consistency and make it really visually appealing. So let me show you how to do that. First of all, I want to thank Wix Studio for sponsoring today's video. Wix Studio is an end-to-end -end platform for designers, staffs, and marketers in agencies and enterprises. It has smart design capabilities, flexible dev tools, and building AI give complete design control for exceptional results. Combined with multi-site management, the platform provides everything needed for a super seamless workflow. It is a game changer how you can build your website smarter with less time while making it really scalable as you expand and add more content. You know, when it comes to building a portfolio website, one of my biggest pain points is when I need to add a new project to the website. I always have these concerns about how do I make sure it is consistent. It has its own content, unique story, but I also want to make sure the visual presence of this case study is consistent with other projects that I already have built on the portfolio. Wix Studio provides this powerful tool called CMS, Content Management System, that can really help you build your website with rich content smarter and faster. So let's take a look. It can help you create dynamic content-driven sites without code. It can manage the collection behind the scenes, sync with the design, and hand over easily. With the dynamic pages, you can just create one page and turn that into hundreds with the same layout, but unique content. It will generate its unique URLs and SEO settings. And if you want to change or update any content, you can easily manage that with your CMS collections, which is basically a data set. And there are tons of presets that can help you kick off your design, build faster with some ready-made layouts and customize with your own content and design. So let me show you how to use it. We're looking at this portfolio website that I started with Wix Studio. And this is the project page where you can write the detailed story about a specific project and add image or other assets. So in the past, if I want to change any of this page, I would have to go into the edit mode and arrange the text block or the image assets, change it individually as each module in the specific project page. If I wanted to build a page for a different project, I would have to do it again uh, by crafting the page layout. And with this game-changing tool that called CMS, you can do it in a completely different way in how to manage the content on your portfolio site. First of all, let's go to the nav bar. There's an icon on the left side is for CMS. So just click on that and you want to click this button, add the CMS to your site. There you go. And now you will see this pop-up window saying you can start with a preset or start by adding content. How about let's try start by adding content. Cool. Create a collection. Here there are several options and let me try create with AI. We're looking at this window where you can input the name of your collection. Here, I will just say my projects. And now you can put some text prompt for how you want uh, the details about your collection. Okay, so here's my prompt. Let's click on next. There you go. Here are some suggested fields for your My Projects collection. You will see project name, summary, my role, image, and basic info. If you, that looks good to you, you can just go ahead and click on Create Collection. So now you're looking at this data sheet. 
where you can customize and enter your own project name, summary, and different type of informations that will later be translated into uh, the web page. As an alternate, you can also click on more actions and import the item if you already have your own file. So in this case, I already have my own portfolio CMS sheet. So I'm just going to go ahead and import this data sheet. Okay, configure column. That looks good. I'll just do import. And there you go. All my project data has been imported from my data sheet to Wix Studio CMS. You can adjust the tags as you wish and add any project image easily. For my data sheet, I have a couple of highlights I'll be using in the project details page. And for each of those highlights, I would also want to add an image section. So you can go ahead and click on add field and select which type of content you want to add. Um, in this case, I want you to add image. So I'm just going to select image and choose field type. I'll put highlight one image. There you go. So once you have all the columns created, we can start by adding some assets. For example, the project hero image. Well, you can do that by simply click on add image. And here you can upload any media or create a folder. I would just go ahead and select the right cover image for each of my project. There you go. So now I have some hero image uploaded for all my projects. To manage the content of your website easily, we can use dynamic pages. So a dynamic page is basically a type of web page created to display any content from your CMS collection, the data sheet. There are two types of the dynamic page. One is called the list page. The other is the item page. A list page is something that you can use as a cover page to showcase a list of items. And the item page is basically something that can expand to show more details about an individual item. Let's take a look how this will translate into a page. So I'm going to click on Add Dynamic Page. It pops up this window of two options. There is the option to do Item Page, which is basically the Project Detail page. And another option is the List page. So I'm going to click on the List page, Add to Site. There you go. Right now, it is showing it in a view that shows four thumbnails in one row. And to change this, you can select this cell. If you go ahead and click on the repeater within the cell, here you can adjust how many items that you want to show in one row. So instead of four, I would like to change this to two, which gives, I think, a larger space and makes it cleaner and easier to look at. It's really easy to adjust the layout. For example, I don't really want to show this uh, button start now. And I can just select that element and delete it. It's going to apply automatically to the other projects. Now let's go into the preview mode. Within just a few minutes, we have created this dynamic page for my projects, which you can easily change, add more project, or update the information from the CMS datasheet. Let's take a look at how to create a project details page. So we can go back to page and at the bottom, there's an the option to add new page. I will select the dynamic page. Here, instead of selecting the list page, I will select the item page. There you go. As you see, this page is generated in just a few seconds with some of the content already plugged in. You can customize any elements so you can easily change how you want the background of each section look like. And, and if you want to add any section, what we can do is go in here at elements. And from here, you have a huge variety of different kind of content you can add. You can use sections if there's any template you want to use. What I like to do is to go and just use one of the wireframes. For example, in this project, I would like to feature some of my design in a way that it takes the image, take the full width of the screen. So I'm just going to use this. There you go. It's just added to the page. A project page is built just within a few minutes. Of course, you can continue to add different sections. The best part is once you have this one project item details page created, 
you can use this top menu, drop down menu, to switch this to any other project page. It will apply the same exact structure and design across the projects and you can either customize it or connect it with your data sheet to easily manage the content of each project with a consistent look. So, you know, from here, if you wanted to change anything or update the content, all you need to do is go back to CMS, click manage content and open the data sheet. If you have any new project you want to add, you can just enter the information here. And also if you wanted to change the sequence, how the project is shown in the project list page, what you can do is just the drag and drop and swap the sequence, how it's being displayed here. And once you have this ready, just close it and go back to page and select the list view. And there you go. As you see, the sequence of the project has changed. Let me share with you another way to set up a collection. Let's go ahead and click on the CMS icon. And from here, instead of create collection, we can click on this option called add a preset, where you will see a number of templates you can start with. Here you have the option uh, to click on more info and it's going to show you how the dynamic list page and dynamic item page for this preset will look like. Uh, how about this one? Okay, I actually like how clean it, the layout looks like. So I'm going to select this and say add to site. So now that it pops up this CM, CMS window where like what we did before, you have the option to either manually type in, enter the information you want for your project, or you can use your existing data sheet and import that to Wix Studio. Um, now that we have a clean data sheet shows all my project information, Let's take a look at the dynamic page that's generated for this project. This is the list version, which it shows basically a list view of the projects. And as you see, it is nothing reflecting the actual project that I have in my data sheet. So what shall we do? You can click on the cell and to make sure we are selecting the right item, you can go ahead to the layers and make sure you're selecting a repeater and make sure you connect the image source to the hero image. There you go. And also I want you to link this line of text below the project name and map that to the project summary. There you go. As you see, with just a few clicks, a project page is created with all the image, project name, and summary, all mapping to the data sheet I have created. So in this project item page, since we're using the preset, it has not been linked to the project data sheet yet. It is showing some uh, placeholders here. And to connect this, you can select items like project name, and use the same way to connect this with the correct data sheet and the specific field for here, this should be displaying the project name. There you go. To summarize, I think Wix Studio with the CMS tool, it really enables you to integrate AI from the early stage of your creation stage. And with the powerful dynamic page, you can easily manage your web content replicate any single page and apply the design across your website. It really provided a new way that allow every designers to build stunning website faster and smarter. So if you're interested, please feel free to click the link below and try it out. I would love to hear your thoughts. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.